Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. After the Australian dollar declined, it found support just beneath the 60 day moving average, which is seen around 65, 10, 15. And therefore, from the demand, I expect to see further coverage. Keeping an eye on this close of today it could post a hammer or a dragonfly doji, which is bullish. Along that, we are oversold, so it does warrant a rebound, which could see the market close above 65.90 and therefore reinstate the upside to around 67 cents. So keep an eye on this key level or 60 day moving average, and therefore, we could see the bullish outcome eventually emerge. As the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, was flat around 103.30. The euro took the challenge to the downside and bounced. And as we can see, found good support around 108.35.45. In light of the pattern, I feel this could improve and therefore see a break above 109.25 and on towards 110. Let's see how strong this line can play out. And if so, bullishness should continue out its current view and towards that top side. Well, the end, well, the market's a bit mixed as it's hit the 148 area. I still feel we are somewhat seeing divergence here to the bear case, and a rejection is very much near soon to come. That is, we'll see a pullback towards the region of 147.5, or where the base is now around 146.60. Sterling was also a little bit stronger after the CPI number came out somewhat higher than expected, but still strong demand coming through. And back on track after rejecting that 126 area and now looking towards 128 as a potential target. Gold was weaker. We can see now that the market is now lower from the break of 2010-11 and therefore has exposed the region somewhere around 1,980. I feel though 1,992 may show some demand. Wrapping up with oil, we can see that the bulls have retaken the challenge and now expecting to see a rise that heads on towards $74 a barrel on the top side target at 75 and reassess. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you for joining me. And as always, we'll go for the intro, Paul, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.